Hey there, kids. Folks call me the Curious Fox, because I'm curious about stories. Today's story is all about birthdays. Why don't you have a seat, and I'll tell you all about it. <clears throat> it's a beautiful Saturday morning. A morning that is as bright as a diamond. A morning that gives energy that someone needs for the whole day. That is exactly what young George felt the moment he opened his eyes. He excitedly walked into his bathroom to take a quick shower. He's in a hurry because he is excited to see his parents. It's his birthday today, and he's excited to receive greetings and wishes from his loved ones. He hurriedly ran down the stairs the moment he finished dressing up. Good morning, Brownie. He greeted his dog as he passed him by on the staircase. He quietly set himself on the dining table as he waited for his mom to greet him. Good thing you're awake, sweetie. I'm in a hurry, said his mom. He's disappointed that she didn't greet him a happy birthday. He's completely aware of all the debts his parents have to pay, even if he is only seven. He didn't even expect a party or gifts to receive. He just wanted them to greet him, but still didn't. As usual, his mom is in a hurry again for work. With a taste of disappointment on his face, he said, Morning, Mom. Where's Dad? His mother looked at him like he was an alien and answered, Darling, you know your dad leaves the house early. Anyway, you eat breakfast. I really have to go now. I'll be back before lunch. Please behave and don't make any mess. She kissed him on the forehead and left for work. He felt melancholy. He suddenly felt his eyes water. He felt hurt. He didn't want anything for his birthday but for his parents to hug him tight and tell him how much they love him. But instead of getting those, his dad wasn't even home, even though it was just six in the morning. His mom didn't even greet him a good morning. He saw his dog, Brownie, helplessly staring at him. He reached for his dog and hugged him tightly. Am I unwanted? he asked. Maybe he really is unloved and unwanted, he said to himself. Instead of eating the breakfast his mother prepared for him, he just chose to go and locked himself with his dog in his room. He spent the next few hours crying and telling his dog how much he was waiting for the moment his parents would spend at least an hour with him. I don't ask for anything, Brownie. Just their time, he cried. After hours of nonstop weeping, he suddenly heard an unfamiliar noise. He felt weak and so didn't move. However, Brownie ran by the window to see what was going on. Brownie ran out of the house. Hey, buddy, you don't go out, he shouted. He couldn't resist Brownie and so followed him. Even though he felt weak and sad, he managed to get out of the house. Right there and then, he almost shouted. He saw his parents and their family friends standing. They were all holding a lot of things. Some were holding food, others balloons, and his mom had a big banner saying, Happy Birthday, son! I'm sorry if I made you feel sad and hurt this morning, sweetie. I just had to hide it so we could do this. His mom ran to him and hugged him very tightly. He was surprised and couldn't move. He couldn't think of anything but that overwhelming feeling that he had. Mom, how did you... He was still speechless. It doesn't really matter now. It's for my baby, so it's nothing. He just hugged her and cried until he remembered something. But where's Dad? he asked. His mom pointed up something that made his jaw drop. His dad was standing next to a bicycle. For the best son I could ever dream of, his dad said. It's cool. I like it, but we don't have money for that, he said as he clung to his neck. That's the only thing you like, and I'd do anything for that, his dad said. Then he remembered something that happened a few days ago. He was watching kids in the playground. 
they were happy riding their bicycle, and he said he wanted a bike without the intention of saying it. His heart full of joy, he hugged his parents tight. Wow, birthdays sound like a lot of fun. It's important to keep them in mind, but it's even more important to be patient because surprises could be waiting around the corner. Thanks for listening.